For as long as I can remember, swimming in the deep blue ocean with humpback whales has always been our dream. Three years ago, we flew to Tahiti to try to swim with them there, and unfortunately, we tried and failed twice. So we swam for so long, and we didn't see a whale. But you know what they say, success is always sweeter after failure. Whew, guys, I am shaking. I am so nervous for this day. We're gonna try to swim with whales. It's literally been my dream for years and years and years. And today we're going out with an amazing company, Deep Blue, here in Grand Turk. They are amazing, and we've been talking with the marine biologist, Catherine, and she's so nice, and they're so professional, and so I definitely trust that we are in very, very capable hands. But we were supposed to go out yesterday, and it actually got canceled because the waves and the sea was too rough, so I'm a little bit nervous. I hope that we find whales, I hope that we can swim with whales, but we know that's not always how it goes, so I'm really excited and also really, really nervous. You ready? Let's go find those whales. Ah! Ugh. It is pretty windy today, which is why we haven't been able to get out on the water the past couple days. So we're really, really nervous that the waves are just going to be too harsh for us to actually go swim with the whales. It's our number one concern right now, but of course, you know, nobody can control the weather. So we're just hoping it stays good for our time out on the water and we can actually see the whales. Well, let's head inside, get ready, and then we'll be on the boat. We were so worried that we weren't going to be able to go to the actual place where they look for whales. We were potentially going to go to a different spot because of all the wind and the waves, but we are going to the real spot. So there's that's the best chance to go see them. Guaranteed we'll see them? Guaranteed you guys are going to see the whales today. Okay, all that's right. pretty confident. All right, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. What was your all name? Right. My name is Karel. Karel? Yeah, I'm the island mechanic. Okay, well, nice to meet you. I'm Jacob. All right. Nice to meet you, Jacob. Nice to meet you. Right. <laughs> Getting on the boat now. Thank you. Come on. Thank you. Dear Captain, today, um, this is Roger, my first mate. Hello, good afternoon. Um, Hello. And that is Catherine, she's a marine biologist. Go. We're headed out. Yeah. Ah, my way up. The water is I'm so up. blue, it's so beautiful. See one out there? It's a little claw. Okay. It's a spray. White. Saw a spray twice, okay. We saw a spray! There's a whale out there somewhere. This is like the most nerve-wracking part because you really just want to like find it, but it's like everyone's just quiet and still. We've slowed down now to try to get in the right spot for the whale. Going slower just to approach it. Oh, this is so exciting. I can't believe we've already seen a whale. It's only been like 15 minutes on the boat. We're looking. I haven't seen it yet. I haven't either, but a lot of other people have. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, yeah. Look. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. I saw it. Ah. It's like 1 o'clock. Oh, there's a few. There's a few. Oh. oh. And lower yourself in really gently, so no big splashes. Um, Everyone be really quiet. Be in the water by themselves. You want to try and not disrupt them. So the mom started moving, so we're not going to get in quite yet. Hopefully she's chill with the boat and then we can get in, maybe. Hopefully. We just saw the spray. Oh, this is cool. I hope we can get in soon. Just hope we can get in. We've been in this spot for a little bit, enough to where I put my shirt back on. 
We're just waiting. We just saw it come out of the water a little bit. It's a mother and it's calf. Okay guys, we might be able to do a swim by, which is why she would kind of swim. As we heard the announcement that we had the chance to see the whales and hop in the water, we grabbed our snorkel equipment, our fins, our cameras, and we were ready to jump in the water. My heart was racing so fast. And then as soon as we jumped in the water, it's like, all the adrenaline hits you and you're just like, go, 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 swim as fast and hard as you can while also being calm. So you don't, you know, you want to respect the whales. And they're swimming actually extremely fast. Well, for them it's slow, but for us, we're swimming as fast as we possibly can. But man, the second our eyes saw the whales, there's not really any words to describe how like majestic and beautiful and I was just thinking like this is God's creation and we're just in the water with this like giant school bus airplane and it looks like they're moving slow even when we were in the water it looked like they were moving so slow but like Jacob said they're going so fast. We were so thankful to just be swimming right alongside it because we have waited years and years to see it and especially after completely failing in French Polynesia. And because we had failed before in French Polynesia, this just made it so much sweeter that we actually got to be in the water with them and see them in their natural habitat. It was just the most beautiful experience that we've ever had. But little did we know, it was only going to get better from here. Oh my god, I was freaking out! <laughs> wow. <laughs> I can't believe that! We saw it. Oh my god. We saw it. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. Oh wow. Well, we gotta see it for like 30 seconds. That was the best 30 seconds I've had in a while. <laughs> Wow, the water is insanely clear. This is crazy. I am going to pull this off. Yes. Ah! Can you believe it? Oh man, that was so cool. I literally, like it doesn't feel real. Yeah. It doesn't feel real. We've that waited was... four years to do this. So we might get back in the water and do it all over again. Oh my gosh. Wow. Round two. As we jumped into the water for the third time, we literally had no idea how incredible this encounter was going to be. After this encounter, I asked a guy who was on the boat for eight years in a row what his best encounter was, and he said, this one. As soon as we jumped into the water, I could immediately see the big shadow coming towards us. And typically you swim alongside the whales, but this whale was just a little bit curious. So the mama and her baby came and turned directly towards us. I could not believe it when I saw her from the front and the side and she was just so curious. She got right up next to us and I just was looking at her directly in the eye and I was like, I am making eye contact with a humpback whale right now and oh my gosh, it was just the most beautiful. I mean, I feel like I keep saying that, but it was so wonderful. One of the coolest parts about being in the water with these whales was seeing the size difference between the baby and the mother. And my favorite part was when the baby came up for air and at this point my head was actually above the water and I got to see it, its nose out of the water and that was so cool. These whales are 55 feet long. So imagine a gigantic school bus just coming directly at you and it kind of helps put it into perspective a little bit, but also I don't think you can truly appreciate how big and majestic they are until you are actually in 
the water with these whales. And these whales migrated thousands and thousands of miles in the ocean to come here to Turks and Caicos to have their babies in the shallow, warm waters. We are so thankful for the opportunity to be swimming with humpback whales and we just can't wait for what's next in the ocean. I'm gonna hit her. I, I have to. I can't. <laughs> wow! I looked into her eyes. Like, oh my god! Did you get it? Were too yes. Oh my god! And I was <laughs> reaching out. To you. I'm like, oh shit! I know. I was like, oh my gosh! Oh, I know. Man. Wow, that was the best. That was the best. Feeling better now? I think our lunch was a little too big. <laughs> That was just so, so special. It still oh. doesn't feel real to me. Like, like, did we just do that? I'm like, what is life right now? I mean, oh. it's so crazy. It's so amazing. The time I literally looked into the eyes of the humpback whale and it was so close. We like actually had to like back away because they were like coming right at us. Yeah, they turned towards us like just oh briefly gosh. for a second and I was like, whoa! It was the crazy like out of body experience. Like, I mean, I just, I still don't believe it was real. I can't believe it. Oh, so, so cool. And we're so excited that we were able to go out with Deep Blue Charters today. I mean, they took such good care of us and everybody else on board. Yeah. And they really made it just a super fun and experience. And like, you know that they wouldn't go out if it wasn't safe, but the encounters that we got, Catherine, the marine biologist, and the captain, and oh my gosh, they were all just so amazing. I, if you're ever on Grand Turk, you definitely have to go out with them. They're just superb. More wildlife. Oh, we got some donkeys. Hello, little donkeys. Whales and donkeys. <laughs> the donkeys are following us. <laughs> they knew that we're cool and now we swim with the whales. 